All right, this is something I wanted to capture real quick. So I changed my six coil motor to uh, dual axial flux. What that means is that there are now two rotors. I'm gonna bring it to a stop in a minute. But there are two rotors that contain magnets. One on this side of the coils and one on this side of the coils. Now the idea behind a dual axial flux uh, configuration is that normally if you just have one rotor you have a magnetic field that goes through the magnet goes through the coil partly but then it folds around onto the block wall of the magnet and then all the way to the other pole what that means is that you have a magnetic field line that doesn't go straight through the coil now by adding a second rotor with magnets on it you have the magnetic field going straight through from one rotor to the other rotor or the, one ma the magnet on one rotor to the magnet on the other rotor and what that does is that it ensures that you have a magnetic field passing through that coil or a, a larger percentage of that magnetic field passing through the coil now my previous version of this six coil motor I just had uh, some big magnets on this right here on on the rotor so it's these things one inch diameter by one inch uh, long and now that's they've been replaced by some magnets that are one inch diameter and one inch and one inch um, I'm sorry, in a, in a quarter inch thick, a quarter inch long. Now what's cool about this is that it is running off of this power supply. And hopefully you can see that. But the current is zero. That's, it's not that the current is actually zero. It's just that this power supply won't read anything below uh, 10 milliamps. So you can see it fluctuating. And if you listen, you can hear the little clicking. That's the the coils going into resonance. And then uh, powering the magnet and powering the motor. So this is current limited at below one millivolt. I'm sorry, one, uh, one, uh, 10 milliamps. And I can turn it up. The actual output voltage that this is set at is, I think, uh, around 25 volts. So I can get there if I turn up the current, which I'll do now. And then we jump straight up to 27. Oh, yeah, I had it higher, much higher uh, voltage. So now we're at 30, 300 milliamps, about 28 volts. Now this baby's moving. And the torque's pretty good on it too. I can slow it down with my hand. But I just thought that was cool that I can get this thing all the way down, bring that current down to uh, less than 10 milliamps. And have the motor still running. But it's, uh, it takes a little bit of playing around to get it so that it's that low. There we go. So why does this motor run like that? Well, I think it's because of the circuit. Uh, and I talked about this before in some of my other videos. Is that you have a, 
uh, an SSG circuit powering three of the coils and a recovery circuit powering the other two. And then those are both uh, driven off this pulse width modulator, this PWM. But I thought that was pretty cool. So let's take a look at it. Um, stop it completely. So there you can see that there's six magnets or six pairs of magnets on either side. Start, give it a kick start. There we go. That's back at one uh, at 10 milliamps. Let's turn that down. There you go. Uh, this one's fun to run at really high uh, voltage also. So I can put a, I'm gonna put this 25 volt power supply and re replace this one here. So let's turn this one off. Okay, I, I think it's, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe I thought it was already up. Okay, so there's no power coming in now. So I'm going to turn on the 25 volt power supply. All right, so that's reading 25 volts. I'm going to plug that in to the PWM. Go and hopefully the circuit doesn't. Uh oh, it's got a, some something's loose in here somewhere. I keep on having to fill around with it. There we go. So now it's running 25 volts, 230 milliamps. Let's kick that baby up. Okay, well one, after I get over one amp, it'll probably start vibrating a lot and start moving around. So I'm gonna have to hold it with the other hand. There we go. If I do this, hold the motor, turn this up. Now that circuit keeps on uh, disconnecting, so we're only getting like one. I'm gonna have to play with it so the circuit won't stop disconnecting when it's uh when it vibrates. <laughs> Alright, that's it.